Hello, I'm Greg, and welcome to my channel, Midnight Oil Software. In this video, I'm addressing a question that I saw somebody posted on one of the Unity forums. Uh, basically, they were asking, how can you detect collisions on a kinematic rigid body? Uh, in other words, they want a game object that has a rigid body that's set to kinematic, which means it will not interact with physics. So if it gets hit or collides with another object, it won't get bumped around or, or moved by them. But you can still detect collisions. How do you do that? Well, I actually have a real-life example of that. Um, I've written a game uh, called Midnight Oil Software. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, I just made my company. I've written a game called Galactic Empires, um, and I'll show that game to you here. Um, in this game, which is a 3D space shooter, I have ships that have shields, and the shields are implemented by basically having a sphere. If you look at this transport ship that's out there in front of me, you can see faintly that translucent sphere that's surrounding it. That is its shields. And it's, it is a sphere that has a sphere collider that's set to is trigger, and it has a rigid body that is set to uh, kinematic. So it will not interact with physics. So that's important because if something collides with it, like if it was to get hit by a torpedo, I don't want the shield to move. I want it to stay uh, where it is um, positioned on the ship. So the way you do that, as I'll demonstrate in this little sample project here, is you have a rigid body that is set to is kinematic and then you have your collider set to is trigger. And it's important to have that set to is trigger because you're not going to get a collision if this is set to kinematic. You're not going to get, in other words, on collision enter is never going to get called. But if you set is trigger, then on trigger enter will get called. And so let me demonstrate that in this little sample project. I'm going to turn the shield off. I'm going to run this game. And uh, this is just a gun, basically just going to shoot a bullet. And when the bullet hits the cube, you can see that it interacts with the physics of the cube. Uh, the cube, which I'm calling ship here, has a box collider and it has a rigid body. Now, the rigid body is not kinematic, so it will react to physics. So let me turn the shield back on, play the game again. And this time when I shoot, you can see the shield is reacting to being hit by the bullet but no physics were, were happening there. It didn't get moved. Now that the shield is gone, the bullet goes all the way to the cube, hits it, and sends it flying. So let's look at the code uh, behind that. So in on trigger enter, uh, I'm basically just getting the uh, bullet game object, flashing the uh, shields to show visually that we were hit, destroying that bullet, and then I'm accumulating damage, and after I accumulate enough damage, I'm just destroying the shield itself. Or when I say destroy, I'm just setting it uh, to inactive. So it will no longer handle triggers, will no longer stop the bullets, so the bullets will keep going all the way to the cube. So that is a pretty simple example, but I think that it effectively demonstrates the principle here. If you want to detect collisions on a kinematic rigid body, you set the rigid body to is kinematic, and you set the collider associated with it to um, is trigger and then you handle those in on trigger enter so hopefully that was helpful to somebody and if you do find it helpful i do ask that you please click subscribe on my channel uh, it would really help me out and like uh, the video as well and share it if possible on your favorite social media platforms uh, thank you for watching and have a great day